So we have a problem. We are doing our weekly clean out of the truck. And that's when we like take everything out, dry it as much as possible, wipe everything down. And there's this little cubby hole underneath our mattress that we thought we would use more often, but we really don't. We almost never actually go into here. There was some stuff in here that we hadn't touched since we had put it in a couple months ago. And when we took everything out, we noticed that there was actually mold along the back side here. I mean, it's really, it's, a, it's our fault. Um, the wood has nothing to protect it. It's bare wood. And we should have put some sort of coating or something, paint, anything on it to protect it. Also, this whole area gets covered by our mattress all the time. And we never, we never opened it. We never did anything. We just kind of left it as it was, assuming that it was fine. <laughs> it's not fine. So... We used some bleach, we wiped it down, and then we sanded it down. And now we have sprayed some vinegar on it. I was reading that vinegar works pretty well. And then we're going to put a clear coat of paint on it and hope that that prevents it from becoming moldier than it is. You can hardly see the mold now after we sand it actually. So that's good. But um, then we started thinking because when we built this, we used a lot of bare wood. And especially along the edges, I think that's our main issue. Along this edge, it gets wet a lot. It's, it's, it's almost always wet, honestly, this winter. In the summertime, it's dry, but in the winter, the condensation sticks to the metal. And it's almost always wet here. Plus we have a little bit of a leaking issue, but we're working on that. So that also makes us wonder the wood along here, whether that's moldy. It most likely is. I think it's safe to assume that it's moldy behind there. So not right now because it is still pretty cold out, but in the later in the spring, we're going to, we have to unscrew this entire platform, which isn't that big of a deal. Unscrew the drawer, take the drawer out, and we're going to replace this wood piece. And then we're probably going to have to replace this back part as well, if it's moldy. I mean, I'm hoping it's not, but realistically, it is. So, we just thought we'd update you guys on that, because it's definitely not all, you know, fun times in here. We've been doing a really good job at making sure the mattresses don't mold because we've heard a lot about that, especially like um, underneath them. We like flip them often, we raise them up. There's some stuff that you can buy, we just haven't bought anything yet. And we've had no issues with the mattresses molding at all. Like they have been bone dry, we've been really keeping on top of it. We also wash the covers and we just wash the actual mattresses themselves. So they're perfect, they're fine. But yeah, we just weren't paying attention to this corner situation here. And then we came across another problem. Um, the cap itself is leaking, like I mentioned earlier. And it's leaking along the edges where the canopy meets the truck. And we have done a lot to try to fix that. And it's just not really, it's not happening. And also like condensation from us breathing and stuff. We don't have our fan installed yet, but we're hoping to install it. That'll bring a bit more airflow. But once we looked, there's mold on the carpet here and a little bit like along it. Along it, there's not too much, but here specifically, there was quite a bit, which is just disgusting. It's just straight up disgusting. There's no other way of putting it. It's gross. I don't know how we didn't notice it. I guess we didn't like there's definitely dog hair along it and like little clumps of her hair that is like dirty almost looks a bit like mold. <laughs> So we were like, oh, it's probably not mold, it's fine. And I'm like, no, no. Um, yeah, it, it was mold. Um, so yeah, what we did, we sprayed the entire, all, all of it, everything, all of the carpet with vinegar. And we're gonna let that sit for a bit. And then we're going to use like a upholstery cleaner, like a carpet cleaner, um, a little handheld one that we have. And we're gonna just clean all of this and then I'm going to use actual carpet cleaner on the entire carpet 
I think this side with the counter is actually totally fine. We looked and it doesn't look like there's any mold or anything. I think it's just because we're always right here. We're always breathing here. Also, it doesn't leak on that side, but it does on this side, which is kind of weird. So that's something to keep an eye on for anyway, just in general. It's really hard to see because of Aspen's hair, but also we did just spray it with vinegar, so it doesn't look as much as moldy as it did before. But yeah, you can kind of see there's like little specks, little circles, I guess, of mold along the edges. And there was a little bit along here, but yeah, you can't really see it that much. So we're just going to clean the entire carpeted area and make sure that we don't have any mold growing. Yeah, there it is. It looks so much better. So what we did is we put down some vinegar. We like soaked it. Then we let that sit for a bit, rinsed it out, and then we just used regular carpet cleaner. And yeah, now <laughs> it looks so good. I don't see any of the mold or anything. Hopefully that fixes the problem. We're definitely gonna make sure it stays dry. Some of this whole area here. I still need to get rid of a little bit of the dog hair along these edges. And then, sadly, we don't have any footage of what it looked like before. But yeah, this whole area is sanded down. We used some bleach on that. And it looks it looks like you pretty much can't even see it anymore. So, But we definitely want to do something more long-term for that because it's definitely possible that the mold will return there and that it is behind on the other side. So, yeah, like I said, later in the year we're going to take all of this out and change that out for something that's not gonna mold. We'll dry it out now, and then I'm gonna paint it. I'm just making sure that the carpet is super dry start fresh. It looks so much better. It's honestly such a good thing that we actually cleaned this carpet because there was quite a few dead mosquitoes from the summer still on it. I was looking up windshield wipers because I can't remember what brand I bought last time which is too bad because those have lasted for three years and somehow they've managed to last three Canadian northern British Columbian winters and I can't remember the brand. Got the, as you can see it's uh not looking too good. It's uh, falling apart. I got the other one off easily, but this one is kind of difficult. Oh, there. There was a cute dog who came to see what I was doing. Let's see if these work. So it was raining yesterday, like crazy raining, like downpouring, and you're probably wondering, why did I film that? Like, everyone's seen the rain before, but rain in February here is absurdly weird. Like, it is, it is super weird to see rain. It is a super, super warm February. It is, it is very strange. It got up to 10 degrees the other day. It's, it's super, super strange super low snow this might look like a lot of snow but at this time of year this is nothing if this keeps up this might just be the earliest spring I've ever seen
I sunk pretty good there. Look at that. Super cute shelter. Got a wood stove too. Some wood. I don't know what that is in the back. I don't want to take my snowshoes off. So I'm not going to go inside. <laughs> this is cool. You can come in here and run the stove. Uh, this would be kind of fun for like a picnic or something. Except the dog has to stay outside. Too bad there's not a tie-off area. You should put something to attach your dog to out here. You're supposed to use snowshoes so you don't make giant holes in the in the groom trails for the skiers. It's also very icy after it rained. So it's actually pretty helpful. I hooked her to the seatbelt with this, so she doesn't go flying. These trails are super cute. Yeah, these ski trails are backcountry, cross-country, and snowshoe trails, and they're completely volunteer. They, yeah, volunteers groom them, maintain them, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I forgot to put the drone in the backpack, I wanted to get some shots of the, the trails and the Babine mountain range in the background, and totally forgot which is too bad, but it's, it's pretty in there, very pretty. Uh, I think it's just crazy how it can be downpouring rain one day and then the next day it's completely sunny. It's just beautiful, and I, I really hope this keeps up because we might get the earliest spring I've ever seen, and I am just, I am really hoping that happens. Once you live up here long enough, you really get sick of winter. Like your food? Oh, I won. What? You liked it before. <laughs> she always complains before she eats, tries to get treats or toppings. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more secure in here so I can actually. So, yeah, I'll show you what we're doing actually to lock ourselves inside. It's not exactly the most secure. I'm going to make it more secure with this. This thing here, we've been locking ourselves in by doing this. The only problem is, is that it can just slide off. So I'm gonna drill a hole in here so I can actually like put this thing through the hole and it won't fall off. All right, I got the hole through there. And now I can take this side of the bungee cord and put it through the hole, turn it, and it won't slide off anymore, and it's absolutely impossible to open. The way they actually attach these canopies to your truck, they use these clamps, and that's where I currently have the other side of the bungee cord attached to. We don't use the clamps anymore. We actually, as you can see behind there, we bolted down the cap right onto the rails and we freed up uh, quite a lot of space because those clamps were humongous and this uh, little bolt holes come in handy for securing the bungee cord to lock the cap. I really like to secure this side as well. Um, it doesn't actually open that much even though there is no bungee cord or anything holding this one down but it would still be nice to have that extra security. But um, because the counter's in the way it's a little bit more tricky over here, so I'll have to think of something. 
So the star is in there. She put the locking bungee cord on there, and I will show you how it actually works pretty well. So you can't open it. And then this side, since there's nothing on it, you can open it a tiny bit, but not really. 